Hi, I'm Robert Standifer from the Bot Framework team. Today I'm going to show you how to get started building bots with the Bot Builder SDK. The Bot Builder SDK is one of the main components of the Microsoft Bot Framework. It is a powerful, easy to use SDK that provides a familiar way for .NET and Node.js developers to build bots. The SDK is open source and it includes project templates, an emulator for testing bots, a large set of sample bots that you can use as building blocks, and comprehensive documentation. Let's start by using the documentation to guide us through building a bot. Go to docs.microsoft.com and choose Bot Framework. In the overview section, choose Get Started with Bots. Today we're using the Bot Builder SDK, so we have two options. We can use the Bot Builder SDK for .NET or we can use the Bot Builder SDK for Node.js. If you're a C-sharp developer, use the Bot Builder SDK for .NET, and if you're a JavaScript developer, use the Bot Builder SDK for Node.js. The SDKs are similar, but the setup and the way you use them is, is different in some ways. We're going to use the .NET Quick Start today to help us get started with building a bot, the Bot Builder SDK for .NET using C-sharp. So the first thing we need is Visual Studio 2017 for Windows. In Visual Studio, update all the extensions to their latest versions, and then download the three templates for building bots from these, these three locations, and copy the templates into the project template slash Visual C Sharp folder in your Visual Studio 2017 templates folder. In Windows Explorer, you can see the path for my machine when is this PC documents Visual Studio 2017 templates, project templates, Visual C Sharp, and I already have the three zip files. Don't decompress the zip files into this folder. Copy the zip files as they are into this folder. So now we're ready to get started building a bot. Open Visual Studio 2017, click File, New, pick Project. In the Visual C Sharp section, choose the Bot Application template and give your bot a project name. Click OK. And Visual Studio will create your bot application project and populate it with some files and some things that you need to build a bot, including the NuGet packages for the Bot Builder SDK. Now we want to ensure that the latest version of the Bot Builder SDK is installed. So right click the project, pick Manage NuGet Packages. In the search bar, type bot.builder. And you can see here that I have v3.8 in my project, and the latest version is v3.11. So click Update to update to the latest version of Microsoft.bot.builder NuGet Package. So thanks to the bot application template, the project contains all of the code that's necessary to create a basic bot. From here, you won't actually need to write any additional code for a bot to work. It, the project template includes some sample code that builds out a very basic bot that just echoes text back to the user. So let's take a closer look at the source code of the bot and get an idea of what's going on. So first, in the, message, in the controllers folder, there's a messages controller class. The post method in messages controller receives the message from the user and invokes the root dialog. So if the activity type is message, then it will invoke the root dialog. Otherwise, it'll handle the system message and pass the activity object. And some examples of the system messages are delete the user data, update the conversation, send a typing indicator, and so on. When the root dialog is invoked, it processes the message and generates a response. The message received async method in the root dialog sends a reply that echoes back the user's message, prefixed with the text you sent, and ending in the text, which was the length of characters, where the length is the number of characters that the user typed in, into the message. So this is all you need to really have a bot, and from here you can add a lot more functionality. But before we get into that, Let's test it in the emulator. So you can download the emulator from emulator.botframework.com and get the latest version, which is as of this 3.5.33, .3 .3, 
and choose the emulator for the particular operating system you're on. So Windows, download the, the exe, and on Mac, you can download the mac.zip. So I have the emulator running. In Visual Studio, back in Visual Studio, a bot is a web app with a conversational interface. So Visual Studio thinks of your bot simply as a web app. It's got a default.htm, it has a global ASAX, it has a web.config, it's a web app. So when you build and test your bot, you build and test it just like you would any other web app. You run it in any web host, in this case I'm using Microsoft Edge. So I click play, Visual Studio will build the bot, deploy it to localhost, and launch the web browser to display the default.htm page. You can customize the default.htm page for your bot to contain the name of your bot and a description of it, and you can also embed the web chat control so people can use your bot directly from this web, web page. And how to do that is covered in the documentation. Great, there it is. So now we can test our bot in the emulator. So open the emulator, and remember your bot is running in localhost. The default page contains the URL and the address bar for your bot. In my case, it's at localhost on port 3979. So here's what you do. You enter HTTP, localhost, and then the port that your bot's running on, slash API, slash messages, and hit enter. Now, you'll see here that there's a Microsoft App ID and a Microsoft App Password. Because we're testing on localhost, you don't need these two values. If you were testing your bot remotely after you deployed it, then you would need to enter a Microsoft App ID and a Microsoft App Password. And how to set up this authentication is covered in the documentation. Click Connect, and then now the emulator will connect to the bot running locally and output its messages in this log over here. So it looks like everything's good to go. So test your bot by typing in a couple of messages. Hello. And you can see in the log what's going on. And then the reply from the bot. How are you? The bot responds to each message I send by echoing back the message prefixed with the text you sent and ending with the text which was 11 characters or which was five characters, just like we saw so as you can see, building bots with the Bot Builder SDK is really easy, and there are lots of great things you can do with bots. We have comprehensive documentation and lots of samples that you can use to learn how to add more functionality to your bot. And remember, the Bot Builder SDK is open source and available on GitHub. Thanks very much.